How you doing? I'm Andy Robinson, the Landscape Renovator, and we're here with uh, Jason Grilly. Do you know what these are? I don't know the names of the plants. I'm not good at knowing the names. That's why I have you. This is the real pro, you That's know. That's okay. He doesn't know the names of your pitches either. No, I te if he wants to know how to throw a curveball slider, I can teach him that. But I don't know, you know. I call it in the pro. That's why I'm here, you know. Well, we threw a curve into you right here because we got it. this actually nice Shillings Holly along the That's driveway, it. which That's creates a nice curve. And the nice thing about the Shillings Holly is that it's if you prune it once, maybe twice a year at the most, it's not going to get out of here. If you forget to prune it, and it takes you a year, you can always cut it back, and it's a, it's a real nice one to maintain. Disease and insect resistant, drought tolerant. So Absolutely. your irrigation goes off, and about a month later, you call me up and you go, uh, Andy, uh, uh, the guy mowing the lawn came by and said that things look a little dry in the lawn. Could you come by and check the irrigation? Yeah, Jason's been off for about a month, but it's a good <laughs> thing we put those plants in there. Another plant we have back here is the Mondo grass. This is this uh, nice six, eight inches tall. Um, one of your things that your wife had asked me to do here, and, because I know it really wasn't your project, was actually to do some things that tied in with your house, so yes. with the architecture. So we did some kind of nice formal lines with some nice big uh, masses of ground cover. Yeah, I like the grass a lot. It reminds me a lot about baseball, so perfect, perfect uh, fit for this house. The grass. The grass. But, but normally up in Detroit in September, you guys leave because the, actually the grass isn't growing, right? Yes. It's a little cold. A little cold, so... Um, so you guys are pretty much done. That's why the Red Sox... <laughs> well, it's a little cold there too, yeah, right? But grass Yeah, because grass grows in Boston, Boston so... <laughs> well, actually, last fall it grew a little better in Boston, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Let's go take a look at a couple of these other plants. This is a Liriope up here. It's one of another grass family. It gets about 18 to 24 inches tall. Now, you might think that we're using a lot of greenery here, but actually what we've got is we've, we've used this for the formality of the garden, and uh, we've actually got some urns here with some annuals on it. Now, annuals aren't really low maintenance, but your wife likes them because she can come out here and change them out a couple times when you guys are here in the wintertime. Well, let me correct you. I think I'm the one that goes and changes them out. Okay, she's the one that tells you she's what color She's the one that tells pick. me what color to pick, <laughs> and I usually call my landscape renovator, this guy, and I usually have to do the, the dirty work. But again, if that's all I have to do, uh, that's what my whole goal with this was, uh, designing it with Andy, my wife as well, was just trying to keep it very low maintenance, obviously for obvious reasons, as we stated. A couple of other plants we got here, and this is a couple of the ones that bloom in the wintertime. This is a, a Sasanqua camellia. It's actually a, a fall blooming variety, um, uh, October, November, into December. We also have Japonica, which is a January to February bloomer. So this one's going to give you color while you're here. Some other things we've used in this garden, though, is uh, Burford Holly. has a uh, uh, deep green, shiny foliage, got a red berry on it. We've used some Agapanthus, which we've used them more for, for the foliage and the texture uh, because they're blooming actually just about to start, maybe a couple buds starting on them now, but they're actually going to, into May. Sorry. Maybe you come home on a break when you're playing in Tampa, right? That's right. I can check on the house. Check on the house. And, and take a good whiff of the nice, beautiful flowers. Nice. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, Agapanthus is, is, is uh, the one we're talking about. European fan palm is another one that we've used here. Uh, just a very, very slow-growing palm. Uh, so if, if Jason you know, happens to play deep into the fall, he can come back and actually not have the thing totally overgrown. He can come out there and play with his little pruners and snip, snip, right? Absolutely. Or, you know, if I am pitching, when I am pitching, I can just call it my landscape renovator here um, because I will be pitching in the cold, nice northeast temperatures. And that usually means that you're in the fall classic. So. Plus it's a contract fun. year. Contract year. I got I to gotta feed that baby and feed these plants. That's right. It, <laughs> more work for the landscape renovator. <laughs> well, you know, great yards don't grow in trees. That's why you need the landscape renovator. Nice transition. <laughs> <laughs>